Hello and welcome to the free Oscar training video series by oscarhost.ca. My name is Jordan Visco and in this quick video I'm going to cover eForm creation. It's fairly simple to do and there's two ways you can do it. Uh, there's actually an eForm creator right within Oscar if you go to the administration section. Scroll down and go to eForms, click upload a form, uh, and then click eForm generator. Um, it's right here and you can actually fill out all uh, the information required and uh, generate eForms right within Oscar. It's a bit of an older uh, version of the eForm generator and we want a newer one uh, for the purposes of this video so we're going to actually go straight to the oscarcanada.org website go to Oscar users, EMR and case management resources, eForms, eForm building resources uh, then to the eForm generator version 4 and then click on the newest version which is eForm generator version 4.3 at this point click on the link to the file and then save it uh, to my desktop and I've already saved it and uh, I saved it to a folder on my desktop called eForms and it's right there. It's an HTML file um, and when you double click on it it pulls up a web page that we can use to generate these eForms like that. So the first thing we want to do is um, load the image. Uh, eForms there's basically two parts to them. There's a uh, scan of the document that you're trying to make electronic uh, so that's in this case I have a lab requisition um, and then there's a HTML file that the eForm generator is going to generate that's going to overlay over top of the image, the scan which we have here um, and is going to create all of the checkboxes and text fields that we are wanting to have on our eForm so I, we've scanned this in, we've cleaned it up using a photo editor such as GIMP or Photoshop to make sure that it looks nice and we're going to go ahead and add copy the name of the file and we're going to add it right here into the image name. Uh, you got to make sure that the image is in the same folder as your eForm generator or it won't actually find the image. So you put it there, um, you select the orientation, right now we're using a portrait form. Again with my photo editor I've made sure that it's 1500 pixels wide and I'm going to click load image. And lo and behold there it is. Uh, we'll zoom in a little bit so we can work on it. Uh, we'll give it a name, so LLREQ. Um, the next thing is some uh, gender checkboxes. I see we have gender checkboxes right there, so I'll say yes, we have gender checkboxes. Click the male checkbox, and we're going to click on the top left of where we want that checkbox to go. Click the female one, top left of where we want that checkbox to go. Looks good. So now we're going to move down. The next thing is uh, signatures. We're going to skip signatures for the purposes of this basic video. We're going to head down to adding the input fields, which is the majority of what we're going to try and accomplish here today. So there's three different types of inputs. There's single line text inputs, multi-line text inputs, and uh, checkboxes. The first one right up here, this is where the patient's name is supposed to go. So we are going to do a single line text input and we're going to auto-populate that text box from the Oscar database with the person's last name, comma, first name and then I draw my text box and I start at the top left of where I want it to go and I drag it all the way down to the bottom right and uh, there that's a new um, text box that's going to be generated by the eForm generator that uh, is going to overlay over top of this image in HTML and is going to pull in the data that I selected from here so the last name first name from the patient's chart. So we'll continue on the next thing that we want is the date of birth so scroll down to the date of birth of this patient. We're going to have it in day, month, year format. And again, we're top left to the bottom right of where we want this to go. Looking good. The next thing we want is some checkboxes. So on the build to, and we're going to click again on the top left of where we want these checkboxes to go. Looking good. And then we want the personal health number of this person. So again, that's a single line text input. We're going to insert from the Oscar database the health insurance number and we're going to draw that in there. So there's a lot of options through here um, that you can do. You can format the font and the font size. You can name the input fields uh, however you'd like, but you can just use the standard settings and it'll work just fine for you. Uh, the next thing here is an address. So again, we're going to input address all on one line in a single line text input and we're just going to draw that in right there. 
and uh, we'll do some multi-line text inputs as well because we haven't done that yet. We're not going to pre-fill with anything from the Oscar database and we're going to say that there's one there and one there and uh, you can go through and fill out the form um, just like this. Uh, you can put in checkboxes all down through here and uh, for the different types of reports and uh, you can just go and complete your form like that. Uh, once you're done, I'll scroll back out. Once you're done and you have the form exactly how you like, um, you can scroll down to the bottom. If you make a mistake, by the way, when you're um, doing something, you can click the undo button and it'll undo your last action. And you can undo as many actions as you'd like. Um, scroll down when you're done and click uh, on load HTML code in new window. And that pops up a, a new Firefox window. Um, you can click the Firefox link up top and you can save the page as and I'll save it to the same folder and we're going to save it as llreq.html make sure you under the save as type you have a dot text showing not dot html or html or hdm and then click save great so now there's my file right there so I have two parts again to this eform I have the image that uh, is the background, the scan in of the LifeLab requisition and I have the new HTML file that I just created that's going to overlay over top of it. Now it's time to upload to Oscar. So I go to my Oscar screen, zoom in a little again, and we go to the admin section, scroll down to eForms, click upload an eForm, and then click uh, upload new form. We're going to give it a name, L-L-R-E-Q, we're going to browse for the file, and we're going to double click on it, and we're going to click Upload. I think I must have done something wrong there. Let's try that again. L L R E Q Browse. I think I might have clicked a different uh, the image there. You want the HTML file. Double click on the HTML file and click Upload. Oh, and there it is. It shows right there. So now you need to make sure that the image is uploaded as well and you do that um, right here. Upload an image, you browse for the file, find the file, double click on it, and then click upload. I've already uploaded this image, um, it is right there, but uh, just make sure that your image gets uploaded as well as your eForm. Click back. Um, so now when I go ahead and click on LLREC, I get my new eForm that I created with all my text boxes and check boxes and uh, you can see that nothing's been pre-filled up here if I go ahead and exit out of this and then go to a patient's chart uh, so we'll search for a patient and we'll take this one let's go to this encounter screen I can then go to eForms I can add an eForm I can add the new one that I just created and you can see there that it's uh, filling in the personal health number, the um, address, his name, and the date of birth just like we wanted. So there you go, you can create eForms of any uh, paper form that you have to fill out and you can pre-fill it with all your patient's demographic information. Uh, thanks for watching this quick tutorial. I hope it was helpful. For more information, you can check out our site at oscarhost.ca or you can check out the community website at uh, oscarcanada.org.